All right. Uh, yeah. Everyone hear me? Do you want the podium yeah. one? And cool. The so today we're going to talk about what happens when a snowstorm is going to hit your hackathon. Uh, some of the things I learned from the experience and, you know, how you can apply it, not just to the things that you learn or that I learned, how you can apply it, not just to snow, but also other emergencies as well. A little bit about me. I'm Velazar. Uh, I was an organizer for BrickHack 1, 2, and 3. I am still a student at RIT, and I also currently work for DevPost. Uh, and that's me trapped outside during BrickHack 2. So this past uh, February, we had BrickHack 3. Uh, we wanted to take everything we learned from the past two events and just make it the ultimate event. Really just make it a great experience for everybody. And there was one thing that we forgot. In Rochester, New York, it snows a lot. And we really didn't think too much on it. Um, we knew that there would be some weather problems coming up, but we just didn't expect it to really start that close, uh, you know, to everyone and going home and, you know, during the event. So what we had to do was come up with a plan on what we would do if we had to send people home early, how, you know, how early they would get sent home, and also how would we handle the rest of the event, the judging, the submissions, and make sure that everyone gets to submit, make sure that everyone, uh, you know, is, gets recognition for their projects and hopefully wins a prize. So one of the things that is really important that I want to pass on to everyone here is whenever something comes up, be it an emergency with snow, anything else, don't panic. Always breathe because when you do panic, it just it doesn't end well. You need to approach things with a clear head and you need to think fast. When you do panic, you'll make your participants panic. And they're there to do one thing. The main objective for them is to hack, make a great project. And when you panic and they panic, well, their main objective then becomes something entirely different. So another thing I want to pass on is always expect the unexpected. It can be snow, it can be theft, fire, electrical issues, medical emergencies, anything really. In our case, it was food emergencies. Insomnia Cookies screwed up our order at 2 a.m. as we're trying to figure out what we're going to do to get people home safely. So on top of already having to figure everything out, I was driving at 3 in the morning to Insomnia Cookies to pick up 400 cookies that they baked in about half an hour. So that, that was fun. Another thing is always have all your contact info ready and always have it organized. So participants, bus captains, security, maintenance, any of those, always have it at the ready. And you don't want to be fumbling. You don't want to be looking at, for an email at 2 a.m., just like me, going through like 1,000 emails trying to find the number of the bus company, because that's not good. You'll end up like that person in the picture. And finally, Carl. Carl from MLH was really helpful. He helped us during our cookie crisis for actually for paying for the cookies because we, we didn't have the funds at the time to pay. We would get yelled at by our school if we did. So he helped us through that. He helped us plan through the snow emergency and he was overall just a big help. So shout out Carl. So your event's over, everyone's starting to go home. You can breathe a little bit, but don't forget about getting people home safely. Keep constant communication between your bus captains and everyone else to make sure that the bus is, going, is getting to the right place at the right time and everyone's getting home safe. But breathe. Don't forget to breathe. You got through the hardest part. Everyone's going home. So breathe a little. So just to recap, keep a clear head. Don't panic. Expect the unexpected and always have an escape plan for it. And finally, utilize MLH. MLH is not just there to hand out t-shirts and stickers. They're there to make sure that your event goes well. Your event is successful, everyone has fun, and everyone creates cool things. After your event, get together and organize a post-mortem. Go over what went well, what went bad, how you can improve for next year, and use that to improve upon your next event. 
So my name is Valazar. That's my email. You can email me at any time if you have questions. Thank you.